<coughs> What's up, Henry fans? Tekken Me is back, and this time we have a new app roundup, so let's get to it. Alright, the first app of the day is Homeflip. Homeflip is basically a multitasking app. If I swipe from anywhere on the screen, Homeflip starts up. Check it out. So here I have Homeflip, right? Suppose I want to go to YouTube. Boom, I just click on it and there I am, right into YouTube. I swipe again and boom, Homeflip starts up. I wanna, if I want to favorite an app, I can go right there and it favors. So if the camera is now favorited. If I want to quit it, I can just swipe and it's gone. Thousand clocks, gone, see? So you can just swipe and it basically pops up. Really nice multitasking app. Home flip, all right. It's got some settings, so let's check it out. So we have four, uh, we have four, uh, five settings in here. General, general is basically you want left-handed mode, right-handed mode, and all these other stuff. You want a haptic feedback and all that stuff. You can even have background dimming. Then we also have animations, like how home flip starts up from the side. We have feed fallback launcher, which is for me apex launcher. Then we have activation, which is. I set it to swipe from the right side of the screen and it home flip flop starts up. You can set it to like home, press the home button twice and all that other stuff. And we even got themes right there. So it's really nice multitasking app. What's it called? Home flip. Next, up. next up we have Carbon. Carbon is basically a Twitter app which is recently released. Check it out. It's very smooth. Like I can scroll left to right I can go from my home feed to my messages that is my mentions and my messages right I can go down and up very smooth scrolling check it out nice and smooth if I go all the way up I can actually if I want to go all the way up I can just press two fingers down and I'm all the way up If I pull down it says refresh up there leave it and it says one more tweet check it out see so really nice refresh for more mentions alright so that's awesome app for Twitter uh, I've been using Falcon Pro for Twitter but if you're into Twitter you can check out Carbon it's totally free Falcon Pro actually costs money next up I have Shush Shush is basically if you want to silence your phone basically you're going to sleep you want to silence it so if I press down I silenced it but then Shush pops up automatically when I press the down button Shush basically you can set it to like one and a half hours, eleven hours, you know. You can just scroll scroll this all the way, like four and a half, five and a half, all the way to ten, twelve, and more. Okay? So it's really nice and you can even set how how much you want the ringer to be. Like if I want it when I when it turns back on, if I want it to be at like seventy percent. So after eight hour eight and a half hours, which is when I get up in the morning, it turns back to 82% so really nice if I want to keep it off indefinitely just keep it off that's shush really nice really handy app I think everyone should have it next up I have one click cleaner one click cleaner is basically you want to clean all the junk off your phone and keep it running smooth and fast so all I have to do is press that erase button or the garbage bin and boom check it out it's cleaning my cache and then it'll clean up all the mark data watch there you go so it's cleaned up and it's cleaned up 154 MB for me. That's awesome. Mark clean. If I can I can mark what I want to get clean, Gmail history, history of my browser, history of Google Maps and all that stuff, right? That's mark clean. Deep clear is basically some residual files that are left over. Like I have Evernote, I have I had uninstalled it, so I can just check that. These are the residual files and I can click erase and it's done. So it's cleaning that, right? Calm clear is basically you want to de delete your messages and all that stuff, all right? So that's communications and your call logs and all that stuff. So it's a really nice one app to go to to clear all your cache. That's one click clean. Next up we have floating draw, all right? Check it out. Basically, floating draw is basically inspired from Galaxy Note kind of stuff. So what it does is it takes a screenshot and you can scribble whatever you want right onto your home screen or whichever screen you are on. Check it out. Right there, there's a pencil icon as you can see. I can click that and boom. See, I have all these paintbrush and all that stuff pop up. I can write. Suppose I want to change the color to yellow. 
all right and I can write tech and me right and as you can see uh, my live wallpaper is still go going in the background and then I can click save once I click save it's saved I can click back and it's still there on my home screen to remind me of whatever notification I had to do once I'm done with that I can click that pencil button again once I'm done with that I can just click erase and boom it's gone so that was floating draw inspire from galaxy note 2 all right next up I have routinely routinely is basically if you if you want to get into a habit like I want to get into a habit of 15 minute run every day so every day a notification pops up like at 4 o'clock whatever time I want to set it to and it reminds me that I have to go on my 15 minute run once I'm done with that I can click check and it's done so I can click on it and I can see how many days or weeks I've done it in a row so if I long click on it and there you go edit activity if I go into edit activity I can go which days of the week I want it I can set up a notification I can set up an audio alert a vibration and the time of the day all right I can even add some extra notes if I want to and I can click save so if I want to add a new habit I can click right there an activity name and create a new habit so that's routinely really good for opening the whole world of habits to you next up we have eye in the sky eye in the sky is basically a weather app let me show you what eye in the sky is it's basically a weather app and if i watch check that out it's partly sunny and chilly in indianapolis and it pops up right in my notification center that's awesome i, I like that weather weather is just in my notification center i don't want to take up my home screen space all right so there we have it current weather I can click on it and it gives me the details of the current weather I can swipe it gives me the 48 hour forecast if I swipe to the right it gives me 15 day forecast that's awesome and then I can click right there and change my location suppose I want to check what the weather in in Chicago and all that stuff I can do that but that's not all I can go to icon set and which is basically themes for uh, what you may call it eye in the sky so right now I have this clean theme installed I can go to like this one right there and click on it and boom there you go this one is installed now so it's really nice how you can change themes you can even change the theme that displays in your notification bar so it's really nice eye in the sky weather app next up next up I have thousand clocks gallery Thousand Clocks Gallery is basically a clock widget. Right there, I have Thousand Clock Gallery. It's called Thousands Clock because there's tons of themes you can download. Like right here, I have Design Selection. These are the ones I've downloaded. All right. Suppose I want to go to More Themes or More Design. I click right there. And I go to More Designs. Now check it out. So many. I can just keep on scrolling and keep on new designs just keep popping top designs I can go suppose I like one of them I can just click on it and it starts installing so suppose I want to change this to something else so these are the ones I have installed let's change it to this one all right and then click save and close and boom my clock widget just changed see really nice app thousand clocks gallery Next, Next up. up, I have Ad Network Detector. Ne Ad Network Detector is basically sometimes in your notification bar, ads pop up. You can get rid of it with Ad Network Detector by Lookout. Check it out. You just click Start Scan. It scans all your apps and tells you what apps are doing what. All right. So if you have ads in the notification bar, they'll pop up right there and you'll say one or two or whatever, and you can click there and you can disable them. All right, so I have five apps collecting my location information and 11 apps collect device or mobile network information. So it tells you everything that different apps are doing. So I can click on them and find out which apps are doing what. So that's Lookout Ad Network Detector. Awesome app. And the last app of the day is basically a live wallpaper that I have running in the background. Italics. All right, so check it out. Let me close this. Detalix is basically there is a live wallpaper. I can scroll and see based on my touch responses, it changes. In the settings of Detalix, we can go to settings and you can have different shapes. You can have circles, you can have all these other theme settings. You can 
uh, you can check it out how the theme works by clicking and testing it out so that's Jitalik's live wallpaper of today all right that's it for now let me know what your favorite app was mine was basically home flip that just stole the day don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and like it favorite it it helps me out a ton guys that's it this is tech and me signing out peace bye bye tech and tech, tech and me <laughs>